And so knowing the languages yourself actually allows you to, to be able to see the, the line of reasoning for what it is all the way from top to bottom and evaluate it for yourself. That's that's a, a, a key distinction. And really, it's not that you, you're not doing that. You just, if you don't know the language, you're dependent on someone else to do that for you. And you don't know what their reasoning is like. You don't know how good their reasoning is or how widely read they are or any of those sorts of things. And it could be their, their assumptions are really good. But a good example of this is people have different skill sets. Some people are much more linguistic. Other people are much more theological. Well, if you're a theologian with knowledge of the languages, you can still follow the arguments of the linguists, but you can actually evaluate those a lot better knowing the language yourself. And certainly some of those linguists, they might look at the difference between the meaning of a word or something like that, but they might completely miss the theological implications of a word. A good example of this from my own experience is koinonia. You know, most translations will translate it fellowship, right? And there's nothing wrong with that in and of itself, except that in English, it doesn't really portray what the Greek word is trying to get at. The Greek word has behind it this idea of participation and sharing together. We see this in Paul's use of it in Philippians, where he's talking about their participation with him in the gospel. He's not talking about their conversation with him in the gospel over the years, but the fact that they've given to his ministry and therefore been participants in it with him, working with him in it. And so the word koinonia is one example where you can look at the linguistics of it and you can say, oh, it's like fellowship in English and back that up. But until you actually look at how it's being used in the Greek for yourself, you're not going to capture some of those nuances and see, actually, there's a little bit more going on here.